evening. This is The Late Report. Well, it was reported this week that milk prices in Seattle are the nation's highest, with an average price of $3.15 a gallon. On a positive note, the price of crack is holding steady. <laughs> Kent police arrested 14 people in what they say was a car theft ring that was responsible for the theft of over 150 cars. Police officials say they got suspicious after they drove by a double-wide mobile home with 150 red Camaros up on blocks out front. <laughs> Mary Kay Letourneau says that she and the 14-year-old boy with whom she had a baby last year have had at least 10 other children in a past life. <laughs> Laterno went on to say she's hoping to find some of those children and date them. <laughs> Washington State Park Rangers have banded together and gone before the Parks and Recreation Commission to ask that they be allowed to carry guns. One ranger said that enforcing park rules has become much riskier, especially when it comes to those pesky bears stealing picnic baskets. <laughs> Microsoft chairman Bill Gates, who last year passed the Sultan of Brunei to become the world's richest man, is now the world's first 50 billionaire. In other news, I ran out of quarters at the laundromat Friday night and had to leave my stuff in the dryer. Bainbridge ferry worker Bill Cowlings has taken to personally greeting passengers as they board and leave the boat. Not to be outdone, the Vashon Run is now offering palm readings and a hot oil massage. The Newcastle Historic Society is hoping to pull a coal train out of Lake Washington where it sunk over 100 years ago, saying, with us being a new city, I think a lot of people are unaware of our rich history, particularly their rich history of sunken coal trains. <laughs> well, Seattle's Asian supermarket, Wajamaya, says that they want to move across the street from their current location and double in size. Here with a comment is Yukiko Suzuki. こんにちは。私の名前は鈴木ゆきかです。シアトルは私の大好きな出張先の一つ。ケングリフィージュニアみたいな有名人に会えるかもしれないし。姉ちゃん、ケイスターさん。いや、いや、いや。それに、ふ